BERT install on Windows. BERT stands for Business Intelligence Reporting Tool. It's an open source program that is similar to Crystal Reports that lets you take complicated data and turn it into you know, readable reports, graphs, charts, uh, things that you can use, dashboards, stuff like that. So what we're going to cover in this video is how to install BERT on Windows. So let's get started. Go right over here to uh, my Google Chrome. So the website that I recommend to get BERT from is BERT Exchange. Just stick that into your Google. Loader on up and click on community. This is a great resource to come uh, learn more about BERT and to get more resources for uh, doing BERT reports and whatnot. Click on download and you'll be uh, prompted to log in when you try to download it and uh, you just have to create a, uh, an account there and then you can log in. It doesn't cost anything. Again, open source. Now uh, what we're going to be looking at is the the open source Windows version. You can also buy the BERT Designer Professional and I'll do a different micro nugget on the professional version to show you what the differences are. So I'm going to click on that and I already logged in so I'm going to submit my registration and download this dog. Okay, I download and I'm going to pause the video while this baby downloads so that we don't have to wait for it. All right, finishing up, and now we're going to open up this zip file. And what we have in my downloads here, BERT Designer, all in one. So I'm just going to expand that. And I'm going to extract it to our program file. Uh, you know what, hold on a second. Let me pause this and figure out. Okay, I'm back. I didn't remember if it had a setup program or not. It does not. So what we're going to do is just expand it straight to the program files directory and create that folder. Actually, I'll just let it create that folder, the Eclipse folder. Eclipse is the uh, development environment, Java development environment. And... Uh, the BERT report designer runs as one of the modules within that uh, Eclipse design environment. So I'm going to let this extract and then come right back after it's done. <clears throat> all right, she is all extracted. So now in my program files, where are you, Mr. Program Files? There you are. We have Eclipse, and we're just going to run the Eclipse executable from here. And this is our BERT environment. Now, the first thing it asks you for is a workspace. This is where it's going to store your folders, your files. Uh, you can change this later, so it's okay to accept the default of wherever it wants to put it or wherever you want to keep your data. Now, once the Eclipse environment loads up, uh, we don't need no stinking tutorial. What is this? Okay, let's close this welcome. Uh, the first thing that you want to do, just to kind of get into the world of Eclipse, is to create a project. So we go new, we go project, and since it's going to be reporting, we're going to make it a report project. All right, I hit next. The project name will be, let's just call it a test report project, because I'm not very imaginative today. And we'll put that in that same workspace. And I hit finish. Now, this message here, it says, this project is associated with the report perspective. Do you want to open this perspective now? We're going to say yes and click uh, remember my decision on this. And what we have here is a series of perspectives that you can open up depending on what you're using this Eclipse design environment for. Now, in this whole series of videos that we're going to do here, this is all just about reporting. So we're just going to live in this report design perspective. Okay, so now we have uh, Eclipse and ergo the BERT reporting installed. Now the next step that we're going to do in another micro nugget is to connect this uh, BERT reporting tool to a data source, uh, pull some data, make a report, make a chart. Uh, we'll do some advanced topics in, uh, in future videos. So this was BERT install on Windows and just real quick before we go I'm just going to show you the, uh, the basic uh, process here. We have uh, our Eclipse. 
we have one or more data sources that we connect to. This can be a Postgres database, a MySQL database, it can be salesforce.com. And then we pull all the data over here to our Eclipse, we create the report, we run the report, and then we either save it, print it, give it to a user, whoops, hello user, save it, print it, whatever, or we can do more advanced things like uh, link it right directly to an Excel spreadsheet and have that Excel spreadsheet dynamically be updated when this uh, report is rerun or when this data changes up in this database. All right, I hope this micro nugget on installing BERT in Windows has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.